to HIV and AIDS in Zimbabwe. National AIDS Council is also tasked to manage the popular levy that we know as AIDS levy or National AIDS Trust Fund. We would want to thank our leadership for the brilliant idea of setting up this unique fund, AIDS levy. It's unique in the sense that it's the best practice across the whole world. Other countries have come here to try and learn and understand how Zimbabwe came out with this approach, but they have failed. Let's thank our leadership for this brilliant idea. These are the funds we are using for development of prevention, buying ARVs, and making sure HIV is the business of everyone because National AIDS Council cannot do it alone. We have to bring all stakeholders so that we work together for development of our nation. The principal goal is to end AIDS by 2030 and the Zimbabwe is well destined for that. I think you are aware that Zimbabwe is one of the countries that has recently achieved the 395s. We want to make sure that everyone know their HIV status. Those who know their HIV status are put on treatment. Yes. If ever there is anyone here who is not feeling well because of AIDS, please, you don't have to. Hamba, SPD, Reclinic, and Setuzan Elao. Ama A, Arab, Visa, Tuele. Akusakoni, Pisa, Akusaya, Nisi, Unatama, Arab. Let's go and all get treated. We have realized that if everyone is on treatment and their viral load is suppressed, their chances of transmitting HIV are very minimal. So this is why we are encouraging every Zimbabwean who is HIV positive. Currently, Zimbabwe is 10.6% of people that are HIV positive. About 1.2 million are on treatment out of 1.3 million. So we are left with the 100,000 people. And we are looking for these people. You will notice that there for National AIDS Council has put up a strategy which we call Zimbabwe National AIDS Strategic Plan. 